So we've worked with thousands and thousands of clients over the years, and I will say that almost every single person that comes to us and gets serious results with us does one thing a little bit differently than all the people who don't get very good results at all. And it has nothing to do with the diet plan they follow, with how many calories they eat, how many carbs they eat, how many workouts they do, or what their workouts consist of. Welcome to the V Shred Better Body, Better Life podcast, where we help you live your best life while working on your health and fitness goals. We're here to make your journey fun and inspiring. What's going on, guys? Excited to have you here on our latest episode of the V Shred Better Body, Better Life podcast. I'm your host, Vince Sant, and I'm glad you could join me on today's special episode where I want to talk about uh, the mindset that you need to lose weight consistently. Okay, so this is a really important topic, and today I'm going to be breaking down a couple things. Um, first, I'm going to be talking about a mental shift that you need to make to get the scale moving in the right direction and consistently. I'm going to talk about the easiest way to practice this every single day so that it comes naturally to you because obviously in the beginning stuff's a little bit harder as you get used to it as you get better with it it becomes easier and then i'm also going to talk about how to be consistent with it so that like i said you can lose that weight but not only lose it keep it off because a lot of people lose weight and then they gain back the same 10 pounds over and over and over again okay so let's get into it um so i want to start off with some of the reasons why people think that they're not necessarily getting results. And these are a couple of things that I hear from these clients. They say that they don't know what foods to eat or that they can't ever stick to a diet. They say they can't stick to a workout program because they don't enjoy the workout program. They say that they think their metabolism is just slow or broken. It's slower than all their friends' metabolisms. They say that there's something wrong with their thyroid, and we hear this from a lot of ladies specifically, and I will say, unless your doctor has told you that you have a thyroid problem, it's likely that your thyroid is just fine. Um, and then another thing we hear is that their body don't their bodies don't really respond to anything that they do, or at least they don't respond drastically or consistently, and that they're also just too tired to actually stick to a program. And I'm assuming that for anyone listening, uh, that this sounds a little familiar, okay? So now, what if I told you that while some of those might be true for you, yes, they're not the biggest reason why you are not able to reach your goals. The biggest reason actually comes down to how you think about your entire weight loss journey. And what this means is you need to stop looking at this whole weight loss journey as you trying to fix your body and fix yourself and fix your life and instead embrace a, a growth mindset, right? It's about believing that you need to grow and develop into a new person that has the skills and has the abilities to maintain a healthy weight. Not only get there, but maintain it. And you maintain it by actually being that person. And so instead of telling yourself, I need to lose weight because I hate what I see in the mirror, or I hate myself, you can reframe your thoughts to say, I'm learning how to love myself. I'm learning how to be a healthier person, or I'm going to figure out what it takes for me to lose the weight and get healthy. All right, you see the difference? And so one mindset is completely disempowering. It's almost like you're just bullying yourself. And the other mindset is empowering and it encourages you and motivates you to try something new. And this shift, no, it doesn't happen overnight. You do, you will catch yourself. You need to catch yourself and you need to self-correct as you go. But when you do, you're gonna find that this whole health and fitness journey is going to become a heck of a lot easier. So now that we talked about kind of switching to that growth mindset, let's talk a little bit about just shifting your focus in general, right? Because I know a lot of people already have a habit of some pretty negative self-talk. Uh, it's becoming more and more common, unfortunately. And, and when I say that, I don't want you to now feel bad about it. It's it's very common. It's okay. You're not alone if you're thinking this way. But I also want you to know it's one of the things that's holding you back. And you have to address that. And once you recognize that, then you can change it. And this takes some practice, um, but one way to do this is to give yourself a day just to catch yourself saying 
negative things, right? Every single time it happens, what you should do is make mental note of it. Or if you have a notepad that you carry around with you or a journal, just jot it down and also write down the time of day that you set it. And I don't, I don't want you to jump into judgment mode. I don't want you to start judging yourself because you don't even necessarily have to correct it yet. I just want you to spend a day writing down what you say to yourself and how many times a day it happens. And I promise you that you will be shocked at how much this happens without you even realizing it. It's just, it's literally just a habit for, for too many people. But the good news is habits can be broken. So if you can do this exercise sometime this week, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe this weekend, depending on when you're watching this, I encourage you just to try it because it will help you better understand what's going on in that brain of yours um, without you even realizing what's going on. Because until now, it's this subconscious thing that you've been doing, and now we're going to consciously start thinking about it, okay? So once you have an idea of the types of self-limiting statements that you're telling yourself every single day, now you can start working on changing them, right? And some people like to practice affirmations every day. I am one of these people. I write affirmations in my journal at night before I go to bed. And these are just basically pow whatever powerful statements you decide on um, that can just help you stay motivated, can help you remove stress from your life, remove worry from your life, encourage you to stay positive no matter what's going on in life. Um, but I mean, nothing works for everybody. And so some people say that it feels fake, although I do believe that your words are much more powerful than you think they are. Um, and also just your mindset is the one thing that you can control. You can't control much about life. You can control your mind. And so I would recommend that you practice these positive affirmations if you do feel it does work for you. And if you don't feel it works for you, just keep trying it. And you might find that the longer you do it, the more you see that things are just starting to go a little bit better, or maybe they're not even necessarily going better, but you feel better. Okay. Um, but I, I mean, if it doesn't, there's also something else that you can try, which is also just practicing like self-compassion and kindness towards yourself, which may sound a little silly. I'm, yes, I'm aware. Of it, but I want you to think about how you would talk to like your mom or your dad or one of your best friends or someone around you who's close to you who's always criticizing themselves. Would you let that person keep beating themselves up and saying negative things about themselves and to themselves all day long? If so, you're a bad friend. If not, I don't want you to let yourself do it to you because that wouldn't make any sense. If you're not going to let a friend say bad things about themselves, why are you saying bad things about yourself? So I want you to focus on being your own best friend for a minute, right? I want you to be your own number one cheerleader. And so instead of criticizing yourself and blaming yourself and being so hard on yourself, I want you to make a real effort to practice positive self-talk and thinking about yourself in a brighter light as if almost as if you were encouraging a best friend or a loved one who is stuck in a really dark place right now. And this puts you in a position of self-care and growth versus self-judgment and just feeling down in the dumps and stuck all the time. And I know this might not be the easiest thing to do, and that's why you have to practice it every single day until it becomes just your default way of thinking. Now, if you do think that this is gonna be something that's kind of tough to do on your own, you feel like you may need a little extra help in this area, there is nothing wrong with that. And I want you to remember that you can always work with one of my elite coaches one-on-one -on -one who's gonna help you with these mindset shifts and coach you along the way and lead you down that path to a better you and also help you with exercising with nutrition, help you with that, your, your, your headspace and all of that. So, uh, and right now we do have spots available in our VIP coaching program. And I mean, we already have thousands of people who have achieved crazy transformations right now. And it's a three month program and we guarantee your results, which I'm pretty sure nobody else in the industry does. And so if you do need some help to get back on track or you're just ready for some serious changes this year, um, there should be a link, depending on where you're watching this, where you're listening to this, um, there should be a link down in the description 
below uh, with just some more information about how our one-on-one coaching program works. And, and if coaching isn't necessarily an option for you right now, remember, you can always ask questions in our Facebook group where we have coaches and a massive support group just waiting to help you out. And all you got to do is ask and they'll give you all the inspiration and all the motivation that you need. And they'll tell you what helped them, what didn't help them. And so it's a great place to be. That wraps up today's episode. Hopefully you got something good out of this. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of V-Shred's Better Body, Better Life podcast. Whether you're doing one of our programs, taking our supplements, or just doing things on your own, tune in every week for exclusive content with Vince, V-Shred trainers, and special guests as they share valuable tips around motivation, workouts, food, and living a healthier lifestyle. See you next time.